Hello and welcome to section 4.1. In this section, we introduce the idea of a vector space, which is a little more abstract than what we've been doing, but is extremely important. The key observation of this section is that you can have different types of mathematical objects that nevertheless in certain ways behave very similarly. So for example, functions and real numbers. They're very different objects, but they have this property in common. You can add two real numbers together and get a real number back. You can add two functions together and get a function back. 